schools, Lincoln. We've heard so much about you. My name is Abby and I am the artist. I'm going to be showing you what art activity we're going to be doing today. And I hope you really enjoyed working on this project so far and exploring some of the interesting questions like, who am I or who are we? It's really exciting being able to work for children from another school and being able to get to know them. I'm really excited to work with you today on this creative project. This is what we're going to be doing today. It's called Fingerprint Tree. And we're going to be getting really messy with our fingers. So I'm going to tell you what art materials you will need. One of those art materials is a rag. So this is to dry and clean our hands on and some water where we can dip our fingers in to clean and then wipe them on the rag to dry. You'll also need a white piece of paper. I've gone for A4, but you can go for whatever size you like. And then we're gonna need some paints. Now you use any paints that you have. All paints are okay for this activity. Poster paints, watercolor paints, acrylic paints, any paint is fine, okay. And then we're gonna need um, a brown felt tip. I've chose brown because this is the color of a tree trunk and this is what we're gonna be using it for. And then a biro or a pen. I've just used a black pen and that's gonna be uh, working on top of the leaves later on. And then you're gonna need a paint palette as well. And this is to put all the blobs of paint in. So that's everything we need. If you have everything ready, let's get started. This might be a great time to pause the video. Okay, so this is my picture. I showed it you before. Just for a close up here, I'm going to show you some of these patterns that I've done on top of the leaves. I think they look really great and they really look 3D and make the leaves stand out. So I've created some different patterns. Can you see how they're all different? And you can do this as well. So I'm going to tell you how to make this fantastic tree. Okay, and we're going to start with the tree trunk. So first of all, if you take your brown felt tip, okay, and then what we're going to do is put the piece of paper a landscape way, which is long way like this, and in the middle, starting at the bottom, we're going to draw one line going up and around, and then another line at the bottom going up and around and this creates that tree trunk shape. If you've ever looked at a tree, it goes up like this. And then from this, this area here, we're gonna do one branch and we're gonna bring it in like this and then another branch and bring it in like this. And then we're creating lots of branches for all of our leaves. There we go. So you can have as many branches as you like. I'm going to do lots because I want lots of leaves. There we go. So that's what our tree is going to look like. And then we're going to colour it in. Now I've got two different browns just because my pens always run out. So I've got a backup pen, just in case my pen runs out. I hope yours doesn't. I hope you've got plenty of colour in your pen. And then what we're going to do is go, we're going to colour in our tree and our tree trunk and our, our branches. So this can be a really relaxing way to colour in. I find colouring in so relaxing. There we go. See, already my pen is running out. Are you enjoying colouring in? Is everybody nice and relaxed?
Okay, my pen's running out, so I'm going to swap it over before I do the tree trunk. So it's it's still a brown. This is much better. I think the other one was a bit, it was running out a little bit too much. Okay. And the good thing about this as well is you don't have to be a fantastic artist. You know, you don't have to be really, really good at art. This is all about playing and having fun and experimenting and being with your friends at school and your teacher. And yeah, it's really nice and relaxing just to make some artwork sometimes, isn't it? So there we go. That's all coloured in and that is my tree trunk. And there we go. You might like to pause the video now and rejoin me. So now I've finished with the pens, I'm going to put those to one side, I'm going to take my paint. Okay, so in my paint palette I have got one, two different colours of green, I've got some orange, some blue and some yellow. So what we want to do is create lots of nice different coloured shades of green. Let me show you on my piece of paper here. So this is mine if you can remember. I've got different coloured greens and then I've got a red and an orange and it really makes it look really bright and colourful and that's what we want to do. We want to make it look really bright and colourful. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to mix some paints in a little bit as well. So what we'll do first is start with the green paint and we're going to need our finger. So I'm going to use my index finger and I'm going to put it into my green paint. Now some of you might think this is fantastic and then some of you might not like the feeling of paint on your finger. So take your finger, put it in the paint and move it around like this so it's all squidgy and it will feel squidgy and then can you see on my finger it's got all this green paint on my fingertip. Okay so take your finger and then pop it onto your page and roll it up like that. Can you see there how it's made that fantastic green fingerprint? So you can do it a couple of times before the paint runs out and then you're gonna have to dip your finger back into the paint and then do it again. So you can put these leaves all over your tree, all over the branches like this. but save lots of room because we're going to do more colours, aren't we? So maybe do two on each branch and you can turn it around like that. And if one hasn't quite printed like this one or you want to go over it, that's fine. Just put your finger over it again. You see how that looks dead, dead vibrant and bright. So we're going to do two on each, aren't we? So I've got one there. I'm going to put another one on this branch. I've got two on this branch. So I need another one there, I've got two on that branch, I'm going to put another one there. So I've got two fingerprints on all of my branches and already it looks like there's lots of leaves. So what I'm going to do now is take my finger and put it into my water and just give it a little bit of a rinse. Take my rag and wipe my finger so my finger is nice and clean. You see, well my fingertip is, there's a little bit here but that's okay, my fingertip is nice and clean. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the other green, so this is a lighter shade of green and I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to dip my finger in and I'm going to move it around like this so it's all squidgy. And then I'm going to do the same thing, so on my branches I'm going to put two fingerprints like this. And then when I run out, I'm just going to dip my finger back in again and get it all squidgy and then go over it like this. There we go. Look at that. That looks 
beautiful, doesn't it? Does yours look beautiful? So on this one, I haven't done two. I've done maybe two and then one and two and one and two. But you can do as many as you like. Just, just save some room for the other ones. Okay, so I've cleaned my finger, so I've got a nice clean finger. Don't forget to clean your finger, otherwise all the colours will mix and it won't look as pretty. Okay, so those are my two greens. And now I'm thinking, maybe I want another green, but I only have two in my paint palette. So I'm going to make a green and I'm going to teach you how to do that. Have you made green before? Have you mixed paints before? Maybe you have. Maybe you already know how to do this. Okay, if you don't, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna tell you now. So you need to put a little bit of yellow in your paint palette. And the color that we're gonna mix with yellow is blue, but we only need a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna dip my finger into the blue and swish it around like this so it's gooing. I've got some on my finger. And then I'm gonna mix it in with my yellow. And look at that beautiful green. Can you see how colour green it's making? It's almost like um, a fluorescent green, isn't it? It's beautiful. There we go. So once you've mixed it around and your finger looks perfectly green, then you can put it on your paper. Look at that. So that's three different greens we've created. And I'm going to get some more on my finger. I'm going to put it here. And this gives a fantastic texture. All these different greens. Look how vibrant that looks. It looks so pretty. Wonderful. Oh, I'm really happy with that so far. I wonder if you're happy with yours. Are you managing okay? And are you, have you got clean fingers? I think it's a little difficult to keep our clean fingers, isn't it? When we're mixing paints. But there we go. So my fingers are nice and clean. Now this looks beautiful doesn't it but what I think we're missing is some color and sometimes in autumn leaves are red and orange and yellow and they fall so what we'll do is add a little bit of color and I've got an orange here I'm gonna dip my finger in and we're gonna add some color now this paints quite dry so I'm just gonna add a little bit of water just so it makes it all runny like this you see how my fingers sliding around. There we go. And then I'm going to put just a few of these on. So we don't need many oranges. Maybe one on each branch would look nice. Yeah. And then we're going to make another shade of orange with the yellow. So we've got a blob of our yellow there. And we're going to dip our finger into the orange like this. So you've got some on your finger. And dip it into the orange, the yellow so what you're doing is mixing yellow and orange together and hopefully we will create another shade of orange. Can you see? This is a beautiful orange. What does your orange look like? Is it really bright and vibrant? Is it as bright as mine? Like this. Okay, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to pop it down onto the page. Can you see I've got a different orange there? And then I'm gonna put a few more on here. And just put them in between the greens. Can you see there? Just brightens it up a little bit, doesn't it? Look at those, they're beautiful. I'm really happy with this so far. And I think I'm happy with that actually. Now, you can leave it like that with all the leaves on top of the tree or you can add some fallen leaves. I think that looks really pretty and I've done that on my piece here. Can you see how I've done some fallen leaves there? Shall we do some of those? Okay, so we can use all of our fingers now. So get your orange paint that you've just been doing on your finger again and just put maybe two on the page like this. And then take your middle finger and then rub it in the green paint, any of the green paints, I'm gonna use this one, and then put maybe a couple more there. And then we're gonna use our third finger, and we're gonna rub it in the other green paint, and we're just gonna put them on as well. Look at all this, so we've got lots of messy fingers, but we've got one finger left, we've got our little finger, so I'm gonna use the orange. 
and I'm just going to pop a couple of oranges there. So we have falling leaves and we have leaves on our tree as well and I think that looks beautiful. I'm going to dip all my fingers into the water now and give them a really good clean because we've finished with the painting. There we go and I'm going to dry them. So I've got nice clean hands. Have you got nice clean hands when we carry on with our picture? Okay, now you might want to pause the video at this moment and let this dry because we can't really draw on top of these fingerprints at the moment because they're still wet so the pen uh, will smudge over them. So let's, let's pause the video now and then we can come back when it's, when it's all dry, okay? So I'll see you soon. Okay, so now your picture is all dry. What we're going to do is take our biro, our pen, and we're gonna do some beautiful designs on all these leaves. Now, some designs that I've done, if you can see, I've done some swirls, some dots, some zigzags. So, just start on one leaf. I'm gonna start at the bottom, and I'm just gonna do a swirl like that, that reminds me of a snail. And then I'm going to do some dots and some zigzags. But you can just make these up as you go along. Just do lots of nice patterns. Some you might do as like a leaf pattern. Um, yeah, just, just play with it. You can do like... Lots of swirls, you can do dots and swirls, zigzags. Let's see what nice patterns you can do. You can do triangles, you can do circles and triangles. This is up to you. Okay. These are all going to have lots of nice different patterns on and it's really going to make it stand out. Do you like scribbling? You can just scribble on the page like this. So I'm doing this quite fast, you can take your time and you can really play with this. I'm showing you quite fast just how to do lots of different shapes, okay. There we go. These look fantastic, don't they? I love these leaves. already makes it look so interesting. Now would be a good time to pause the video and finish drawing the details on your leaves. You may want to have your green pen ready for the next section. Okay so if you've got a green felt tip you could use that and this is for the grass. So I'm going to start on one side and I'm just going to really roughly just scribble along the page and this creates the grass. Every now and then I'll go up and down and up and down and up and down and then 
Because sometimes you get long pieces of grass and short pieces of grass, don't you? And this looks fantastic. Is yours looking like this? go that's my grass and that is my fingerprint tree all finished look at this doesn't that look wonderful and I hope yours looks something similar to this as well so it's been lovely to work with you creatively today I'm um, sorry that I wasn't there able to come into school and be there with you in the classroom uh, I'd really like to see your amazing work though so your teacher can take a photograph of the work that you've done and she can send or they can send it to Catwheel Arts and then I can see what you've been doing today. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.